Okay, so I thought I'd do a very quick video today to show you how we install these through walls or existing walls. Um, the easy way and it stops you having to, to use a, a core drill. Core drills are okay for like brick and stuff, but going through high dense blocks can take quite a while, a bit of a pain. <laughs> So we only just put these down, so I'm doing this for illustrational purposes. If you are building a pond, just leave some gaps. Okay, so I wanted to do a video to show you how to do this. So I've intentionally not left any gaps. And there's gonna be a filter around the back over there. So we're gonna put one of these into this wall here as an outlet, go into the filter, and show you how easy it is without having to use a diamond core drill. Okay, so tools for the job. We need a nine inch angle grinder, a SDS drill, hammer and bolster and 40 mil solvent weld tank connector and 40 mil waste pipe. Okay, so first things first, just mark out roughly where you're gonna cut. Go, a, go wider than the actual pipe. You're gonna get some cement in there. If you have it too tight, you won't be able to get enough cement in to make the joint nice and strong. Okay, so then what we're gonna do, get the grinder, we're gonna angle grind that line that line and then the trick is to do another one down the middle and then we'll use your bolster and just pop them out. Okay, lines are cut. So now hammer and bolster, one on that side. Just that one. That one. So they, they popped out nice and easy. And now we'll get the SDS and we'll just chisel, chisel these out to flatten them up a bit. Gap's pretty much done. So that was nice and easy. Probably took me about five minutes to do. Um, pipe work goes in. Cementing this bit, you have a nice strong joint. So that's pretty much how we do it really. An existing wall saves having to use a diamond drill much quicker, much easier, and you get a nice strong finish. Just a nice quick way of doing it. We find it quicker sometimes just to take off maybe the pond edging or the capping. That normally pops off quite easy. Cut it out, put the uh, liner connector in, cement it back in, put the capping on. We find it's just a bit easier than getting a diamond core drill, spending about half an hour, 45 minutes drilling a hole just to get one of those in. If you like the video, let us know. Hit the like button and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.